static input output analysis versus dynamic input output analysis. All the components of final demand namely household consumption, government consumption, investment demand, export demand and inventory demand are assumed to be autonomous and they are all exogenous in static input output analysis. But the investment demand is closely related to the sectoral output because an increase in output creates additional investment demand. The investment demand is considered as endogenous variable in dynamic input output analysis instead of exogenous variable as considered in static input output analysis. Thus, investment demand is exogenous variable in static input output analysis and it is endogenous variable in dynamic input output analysis. Static input output model is defined by I minus A into X equal to F where I is identity matrix, A is input coefficient matrix, X is output vector and F is final demand vector. On the other hand, dynamic input output model is defined by I minus A minus BZ into x equal to f where i is identity matrix, a is input coefficient matrix, b is capital coefficient matrix, z is diagonal matrix of sectoral growth rates, x is output vector and f is final demand vector. Therefore, the consistent level of sectoral output in dynamic input output model is determined by x equal to i minus a minus b into z to the power minus 1 into f. For example, if input coefficient matrix a is this, capital coefficient matrix is this, diagonal matrix of sectoral growth rates is this, and final demand vector f is this b into z is equal to the matrix of 0 0.02 0 0.04 0 0.01 0 0.04 0 0.02 0 0.02 0 0.04 0 0 0 0 and 0 0.01 i minus a minus b into z is equal to 0.78 minus point three four minus point two one minus point four four point eight eight minus point two two minus point one two minus point three four and point seven nine. Now I minus A minus B into Z into X equal to F where we replace the value of i minus a minus b into z is this and x is the output vector so is a vector of x1 x2 and x3 and f is final demand vector so it is a matrix or vector of 400 300 and 500 using kramer's rule we get x1 is equal to 479.96 divided by 0 0.30316 is equal to 1583 x2 is equal to 458.9 divided by 0.30316 that is equal to 15 one four and x three is equal to 
0.4 divided by 0 0.30316 that is equal to 1525 thus we get the consistent level of output as x1 equal to 1583 x2 is equal to 1514 x3 is equal to 1525 this is how we get the difference between static and input output analysis and dynamic input output analysis as well as we can calculate the consistent level of output of a dynamic input output model thank you